down. You're hurting me. You're hurting me. This is where you beg for your life. You're hurting me. Come this on. is where you beg. Fuck that nigga. social media platforms we're live tonight on skype yes you can check it out mark report but anyway good evening podcast world this is yours truly the best podcast in the world coming to you live on video someday brilliant night of smackdown can we all agree smackdown it was raw you drunk this is raw you're having a rough fucking day aren't you it's a conspiracy, I say. Oh, it's it's all right. We got we got alcoholic. Ask- we got alcoholic pock in the boo, and that's what we got. I don't know if he remembers anything. Uh, you think it was, you, I know it, it's the Raw Super Show. Or the, the Raw Super Show. Yeah, that's what I meant. That's what I meant from no, the start, no, man. No, it's the Raw Super Show with SmackDown and Raw. So I, let me try to I save you. If, let me try to save you without you having to oh, say. Oh, no one right? needs no one needs to save in Jericho. No, they, they can rely no, on me. No, don't worry. about Tonight's Raw was good. I hope you guys will enjoy the season next week. Hit my music. Mm-hmm. So he's 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 kind of on a wait, binge. Wait, wait, wait. he's on wait, a can binge I, here. Can I say something? No, no, no. Can I say something? Okay. No, no, no. Let me let me say something plug so anyway raw tonight you guys enjoy it uh yeah it was fine i thought raw was actually not that bad um i don't we, we talked about night of champions or our night of champions review last night and y'all can go check that out if you didn't yet but um yeah we, we talked about that and i think it was a good way to lead up to raw starting with all that shit because honestly i mean a lot of you know, a lot of shit happened at Night of Champions, and the storylines have been interesting. At least, at least they're not necessarily bland or boring. Things are kind of different. And Triple H in his you know C- CEO role is you know whatever. It's fine, but at the end of the Raw, we kind of can tell that they're trying to get the message that Triple H really can't run things as like a corporate person. He's more of a wrestler, which they're trying to get the point across. Did you see? The buys were down this year for this year's Night of Champions. Were they? What was the down buys? by four thousand? It's not a lot. It's not a lot, but still, I thought this year's was brilliant. Well, so it's not down by a lot, but that just means that there's a slow and steady decline, which is not necessarily good for the long run. Like five years from now, if that continues, it doesn't look good. You know what I mean? Night of Champions just isn't that big of a pay per view. Well, it's a B pay per view, but still, I mean, you don't want to steep the uh, in a B pay per view. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you know about last year's, but last year's were down from two hundred and sixty-seven thousand. <laughs> so God. last year's the one that took oh. the ridiculous. Oh, um, well, to, be fair, right? to be to be fair, what was uh, to be fair? That one was last year's main event. I think was the six pack challenge thing. Yeah, and Kane on nobody, Oh yeah. Yeah, nobody's gonna. Yeah, see, nobody's gonna want to. Uh, well, 2010 wasn't. I mean, let's be fair. Last year was not that good of a fast. year. Let's be fair. 20. It wasn't that good of no, a year. So really I mean, I wasn't. get it, and there was a lot of. I don't know. I'm surprised actually. From maybe maybe piracy. It's easier to get links nowadays. Like it is. We can you can go on Twitter and get links so easily now. Possibly, but I. Uh, I shit. think so too. Man, that shit was that shit's ridiculous. That that steep of a drop. A hundred k. It's not like it's not like 2009 night champions was so amazing compared to 2010. So, the pay per views really. <sighs> it's September, and I say this all the time. It's September. So what the fuck do people expect? Well, September. Right. I'd say probably like after from September. It's I mean, a burnout from SummerSlam, so yeah, I don't really get what they want. It's always going to be lower, but 100k drop. But that's that's last year. This year was 4k, which they're still dropping. That. I that's not good. I still don't understand that. What but drops? Whatever. Yeah, I thought this year's was brilliant. Well, yeah, I'm sure the shows could be 
like good in this, your this, mind. This year's but it's all about this year's how wrestling people, has been way better than last year's. It's all about how many people are actually willing to watch. Like I, I don't I don't know. It depends on actually how many people wanted to go ahead and say, Yeah, I'm gonna buy this pay per view. Well, how much was it for you? This I mean it was a B pay per view, so it was probably like thirty. Did you pay for it? Did you uh Oh stream? yeah, 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 yeah. I, I I paid for it. Well I paid for it. I pay for most of the pay-per-views because I don't mind. It's not Tyler? It's nothing. What'd you do? I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it. <laughs> I didn't. I, I decided to skip after SummerSlam. I just got. I, I like decided to skip. So you can say you pay. You 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 saw SummerSlam, right? Yeah, I saw SummerSlam. Okay, well, some people do, do that, that sometimes. And I thought that people, was a solid main event. And the uh, yeah, well, people with the with the big four pay per views, they kind of buy that one, and then they just go ahead and say, "Nah, the next pay per view I can pass," because our pay per views over here for the big four are more than thirty dollars. They 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 start to ramp the price up. Oh, let's face it, too. Right? Let's face it, too. Night Champions was kind of basically like rematches from SummerSlam. For the most part, or well, for the most part, we're, I mean, Cena Del Rio were kind of that was kind of a rematch. Uh, Cena's never faced Mark Henry, Del Rio, Randy Orton. Mark Henry, well, Mark Henry, Randy Orton was completely different. Mark Henry was they've been building up Mark Henry since fucking June. So yeah, this that's, which that's different. which we'll talk about. We'll, we'll talk about it too, by the way, because I actually enjoyed what they did tonight with. Uh, Henry and uh, of course Jay Owen King. Yeah, I did enjoy that. We and if you want to hear us talk about, you know, our, our opinions on the Mark Henry, be, you know, becoming world champion, well, we'll kind of mention it a little bit here, but you know, and also the CM Punk Triple H match and all that. shit, you can watch our uh, or listen, you can listen to our uh, review of the show. But speaking of CM Punk and Triple H, yeah, um, that was a weird ordeal. I mean, they they just like to throw around the word firing around. Like I'll stand behind this again. I have, I have no problem with CM Punk losing. I mean, it's whatever. At least he didn't lose clean. You know, at least there was a lot of bullshit going, going on. Going off tonight, if any of you have ever watched Star Wars, to me, John Laurinaitis is Palpatine. It's clearly John Laurinaitis behind this. This nigga has to be Palpatine. He is behind this. I like the way Triple H and CM Punk, they're being used. Punk mentioned that in the promo tonight. But John Laurinaitis has to be the guy behind this. But overall, it's been very enjoyable. Yeah, The, the whole thing's so. been good so far. People shit on John Laurinaitis all the time, which I honestly don't get why. He's a brilliant heel. He's easy, I, he's easy, he's easy, easy to shit on, you know. He's kind of easy to shit on. Easy to shit on, easy to dislike. I wouldn't say he's special off though, like at the end of the day, so I don't get what's so bad about John Laurinaitis on TV. I don't mind him. He hasn't even been on T V that much, let's be fair. I mean he's 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 been on T V prominently as long as the CM Punk shit at Money in the Bank. So it's only been a few months. So True. he hasn't he hasn't done anything fucking necessarily bad. We only he only spoke at least once, which was the beginning of the show, and then you saw him in the corner at the end of the show. He wasn't really that prominent on the show this week, so it was like uh, he ain't even do much. So I'm Did fine I, with that too. I'm well, fine with that. Well, here's too the thing though: he's, he's so, if they're trying to give the perception of he's the guy that's fucking Lord Palpatine trying to execute Order sixty six, then yeah, he's gonna be in the background. I just love the fact that Triple H is still getting ridiculous amounts of cheers when I know there's no straight up baby face or heel between Punk and Triple H, but Punk's the more favorable of the two, but that crowd tonight overall were pretty good. People still like Triple H, though, at the end of the day. They yeah. like the entrance, they like the music. Yeah, it's, They it's, still like the aura of Triple H. It's one of those instant pops type things where it's... Right. Really well, I'm not talking it's... about when he came out, I'm talking about in the promo and shit. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, they were they were cheering him when he came out. Every time he like came out, every time he was on the camera in his little backstage interview, I mean, you... backstage segments. I mean, he they always kind of gave him a reaction. So Triple H is Triple H. Like, let's be fair, he was wrestling I mean... in Mania, so he's 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 still to everybody else a wrestler. But they're trying to force or trying to propose that he's a uh, you know he's not a wrestler anymore. He's a backstage guy. He's a corporate man that's what they're trying to do 
What did you guys? I don't mind. I don't mind that at all. But the problem with that is too is that, like you said, he just wrestled at WrestleMania in a match that I personally did not care for. I've mentioned that a few times already. But <sighs> look, it's just it's hard to believe that this guy is an authority figure. Like it's just... no, really. I don't think it's hard to believe hard. about it. It's not. It's not hard to believe. Not at all, really. He just, but like I said too, he just came off. He just, he's basically just coming off of uh, you know last night with Punk. Well, he's, yeah. and before that, he wrestled at Mania. Like well, well that's said, that's so, that like, is that is also very true. I don't I don't see a reasoning why this nigga had to come back and wrestle Punk. I don't even know why because they weren't necessarily feuding each other. They had a, 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 a kind of like a love hate relationship, like a respect type thing. But at the end of the day, their whole anger was towards fucking Nash. And where's Nash? <laughs> so it was one of those things where I'm like, all right. Well, well Kevin, well, isn't it, didn't Kevin Nash like not pass a physical or something? Whatever. He's either not passing that or not getting injured or whatever. I don't give a fuck. Because he seems like he might like- be injured. I'm just gonna say it now everything about this storyline I've enjoyed. People are shitting on Kevin Nash everywhere. I don't get why. Overall, I can't see anything wrong with Tom so far. This storyline is perfect. I, just I don't care if I sound like a Mark or anything. It's just overall, I've people are bitching man just for the sake of bitching. I just love. Yeah, I just I, love how people just. I like, think it's because. I think it's because mainly Nash is like. I don't want to say over the hill, but he's past his prime. Marks don't he like be anywhere Kevin near Nash. Let's be fair. Marks don't like Kevin Nash. That's it. And, and at the, that they, too, they all cause... all they think about is the vanilla midget thing, which at the end of the day, yes. he's, it's that's a hit or miss. He's not he's not completely right, but he's not completely wrong either. So it's it's it is what it is. However. He's... See him. He's basically the, the one thing I like about the story. The only thing I always find funny about the storyline is like, does Kevin Nash not know how to keep his phone near him? Like, how how are these things? Like, how is he text messaging himself? He's an old man, man. It's, tw- it's he's an old man. <laughs> it's like, nigga, you don't keep your <laughs> well, phone on you. Lie. It's not the fact that he doesn't know how to text. I'm thinking about like, keep it near you. Don't let anybody touch your phone, man. Like, don't do that. You get so tonight, like they, this. tonight they've blatantly told it. Well, not blatantly. Well, it's good. Everyone, if, you, if you have the, the shit telling you at the start of the year what pay-per-views are coming, Hell in a Cell's two weeks away. To me, that is fucking retarded and ridiculous. Way too fucking two close. Weeks... I don't like it either. I just think it's too close. You see how they we were told, too close. Like, I get they're having... We... Like, they just legit rushed these two feuds. Like, these two Hell in a Cell feuds. They just said, oh, we were told that they're going to have a Hell in a Cell match. There's no build-up. There's no anything. It's just, here you go. <laughs> You know what, on the on the way we were talking about sales and shit like that, you think the sales are going to go down for this pay-per-view as well? Because to me, it, it has to. Probably. Two weeks oh, later? Yeah. Most oh, likely, yeah. Of course. Two, two weeks right after that? For? People aren't buying these shits for two weeks. Like, you just are. I, was... Yeah, I just spend this much money. Oh, I'm going to spend this much money. And guess what? If they're not, they're going to watch that shit for free when they find a stream somewhere online. So, and you know, okay. too, you know that this is going to be basically, you know, Hell in a Cell is basically going to be night champions rematches. On, on, like, well, we've learned one tonight. Forward, but... tonight. Tonight we've been told John Cena will be taking on Del Rio, which gets his rematch, which who gives a fuck. And Punk will also be involved in making a triple threat. I think that's going to be good, though. I honestly think that's going to be a good match. I'm looking forward to that. That's gonna if, be Punk, a, if Punk gets it right, this is my only show. complaint. If Punk wins, why the fuck could you not beat Del Rio beforehand instead of giving it to John? Then again, John got his 10 titles, but John's got years and years of his career to get 10 titles. I don't know. I well, say, I I say think Cena retains. I think the concept of it is that, well, I don't. Punk hasn't gotten his one on one rematch, hasn't he? Because that was the whole. No, this is this is why. Yeah, he has not. No. So this is basically saying, oh, he's gonna get his chance to get the title, but it's not a one on one. So Punk hasn't gotten a chance to get any one on one. So if he doesn't win, I'm sure they're still gonna be like, all right, here's your one on one match with whoever wins. And I don't think they're gonna do another match with Punk and Cena anytime soon. So my best bet is they're probably gonna either have Cena retain or give that shit right back to Del Rio. 
I'd rather have Cena retain that shit, but hey, if they're going to give it to Del Rio, then... Uh, yeah, I think great. Cena retains, too. Oh, I like Cena retains, too. Well, I, I don't really... I, I can't really see them... I'm going to go on a limb and say... Forward. I'm going to say Punk wins it. Which then comes to the conclusion... What was the point? Yeah, but what was the point? I think Punk's going to get... If Del Rio gets it back, I think we'll all just sit here and go, what uh, was even more? What was the point? What well, was... Well, he makes Cena a 10-time champion. That's what was the point. Yeah, That's not impressive, exactly. though. Let's be real now, right? You've held, you've held it so many times, but that also means you've lost it a fuck ton of times. Well, the same thing goes to Triple H. He's, what is he, 11? Or he's also 10, right? Or something like, like that. Like, it's impressive. Like, oh, I have 15 title no, or 15 he's... world title reigns. It's like, you've lost it 14 yeah, you, fucking times. Yeah, you lost it so many fucking times. It doesn't mean anything. It's not isn't that he special. Is he a 14 time champion, actually, Triple H? So... No, no, is it? No, I don't think he is. I don't think he's won that. No, he's a 14. No, I think. No, he's he's a fourteen time champion. Well, well, we'll check that he's shit. We'll check that shit later. But honestly, I think fact uh, check that. I think he is a fourteen time champion. Well, at the end of the day, I most likely Triple H has won probably too many goddamn belts, and Cena winning ten is whatever. I've given up on this on the concept of them seeing that maybe this whole John Cena thing is just like you you can use somebody else. But you know what? They have somebody else. And, you know, Cena's still there. And I kind of compared the reactions with Punk and Cena today. Cena's still more over. And that's... To Sam Punk? Yeah, he's still more over. Uh, Punk's the future. And I know it's Cleveland. I I know it's Cleveland at the end of the day. But Cena was more over in the crowd than Punk. But, yeah, Punk is the future. But Cena was more over. Then again, there's a lot of kids there tonight, kids and women. Well, that I want right. to I want to say something about that too. So John Cena was cutting the promo with Punk backstage when they were getting ready for their tag match, and all you hear is little kids saying "Let's go, Cena." I'm like, these are the kids that don't give a fuck about what the fuck is going on, because like this nigga's talking and trying to cut a promo. I couldn't even hear him because they 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 left the audio in the crowd as they usually do, and they kept on hearing the kids saying "Let's go, Cena." I couldn't even hear him because he was talking like monotone because he was like trying to just talk. He's not yelling like it's, I it's went, not eighty photos. I'm like Jesus Christ, these little ass kids. I I went to the uh, to one of the shows in the build up to WrestleMania because they came around my neck of the woods, and there were so many kids wearing you know the purple Cena gear when he started the purple Cena gear at the lead up to WrestleMania 27. I went to that show. Like I said, I went to that show and. I had a good time. It was a fun show, but there were a lot of kids. There was a kid even in, uh, yeah, there was a kid even in, uh, the section I was in that was, uh, rowing, like, he was decked on Cena gear. They love Cena. I want to, I want to move on to the actual Raw review and get off this, not trying to be a dick or anything, but the only thing I'd like to add is, we can, are these kids going to stay when Cena goes? Uh, we don't know the answer yet, but time will That's come. the thing, though. I don't even know when the fuck Cena's going to go. So it's like, you want to hope that they kind of rebound and stick to C- uh You want to hope they rebound and stick to Punk. That's what you want to hope. That's what the company hopes. Or, you know, let's see. But, you know, who knows? So t- tonight's first match, did anyone give a fuck about the air boom, Wade Bar, Otunga Christian mix-up thing? No. To me, that was kind of a, a mix I... I personally don't even remember much from uh, it. Except, it, it's, just, uh, it's just combining feuds. It's what they usually Air do. Bowman, and Gabriel and Sheamus won. Christian's now battling Sheamus, as we know. He had the title, but then again, what what is Christian supposed to do? Still linger with Mark Henry and Randy Orton, so I'm fine with that. No. But Sheamus, she, we can all agree, Sheamus, Sheamus feuds are never really that entertaining. No. So And that's what I, I guess they're trying to have Christian stick with Sheamus to make it entertaining, but I, I don't see that happening. And Christian had his good run this year, so that's, that's the end of that now. If I'm Christian, that's sad too, if I'm yeah. Christian, I'm thinking to myself, if I'm Christian, I'm thinking to myself, I was in probably one of the best feuds of the year so far with Randy Orton. I'm probably sure. And I can guarantee you this. I can guarantee you this, Tyler, that feud will be for, that that feud in the years to come will be forgotten about because of Punk. Even though it's not, oh, it's it not will. bad, it will. people will not remember that because the majority of people don't watch SmackDown, which it's to me is a shame. shame. Too, because, it's a shame, too, because Christian did his part really well. Randy Orton did his part really fucking 
And I thought overall it was a pretty good feud, and it culminated in a really good no holds barred match at SummerSlam. I enjoyed go, that shit. We go into the next match with Del Rio and the Morrison. Now the rumors are Morrison's contract is coming up soon. He has to. And be. tonight he has to tonight, be on his way out. Tonight was a telling set, a, a telling because he lost in under a minute. I think uh, under thirty fucking about, seconds. Let me go in here. Under a minute. No, no, Wiki has it. The nerds at Wiki have it at 49 Instantly. seconds. Oh, my God. I'm naked Del right Rio's now. entrance Del Rio's entrance was longer than the match. Del Rio beat the shit. Well, John got offense for, like, the first five to eight seconds, and then, like, the, the cross arm bar wasn't even on for that long. No. They, that's I mean, when you see him tap out that fast, it's like, yeah, he's on his way out. Oh, I'm supposed to do a job in 49 seconds. I yeah, I'll tap fast. Hurry this see, up. I won't it. even say he was tapping. I was. I'd say yeah, he was more was, reaching the ropes. He was trying to reach the ropes anyway. Uh, but nonetheless, it was, straight, it was a straight tap, man. It didn't. I saw him. Hit I don't his know hand. if John Morrison's. I don't know if John's lost his passion or not. But either then again, way, he's not I, doing much on Roar, so. Either way, Morrison's gone. Morrison's gone when his contract expires. End of story. It just. Unless he resigns, he will have a couple more matches on TV, probably like this, and then that'll be the end. I doubt it. I I feel like Morrison's time here was done. Will he he goes from here? No clue. I don't think this is his last match, but it's one of it's. He's he's closer to the end than people think. If he doesn't sign, this is one of his last, and the next match he probably has will probably be just as short. Just as short. Or probably, or probably it's either, either, either just as short or won't even be on TV. Could be a dark match. Could yeah, be an opener, man. Yeah. No entrance. Yeah, no entrance on SmackDown. Then again, right? I know this is trivial, but you still got Pyro tonight. Yeah, you still gonna get your shit in, but guess what you're gonna lose in 49 seconds. That's what it is. Yeah, normally though, when you're on your way out, they to give you shit, though. They're even like, they give him an entrance, to be fair, and they still do the slow-mo for him, so... Then That's again, too, yeah, but, well, 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 how, well, yeah, but you're, the company. I mean, they could be very, yeah, they, they could be very whining and re-sign. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like they could be very spiteful and not do and not give him his shit, or they can just act like business as usual and let's hope you sign the contract. If you don't, all right, goodbye. And that's probably what if they I do. was him, I would probably leave. Don't get me wrong, Sucks. guaranteed money and all, but this year he's not really been used well. After especially Mania with the Snooky match, yeah, yeah, that was that was tragic. That was fucking. It's kind of not being Joe Mo's year that much. Maybe she got brand split or went somewhere else. The Super Show's dissolved, if, yeah, dissolved into 2012, but I highly doubt I'd it. I'd agree. No, yeah, I agree with you. If you take away the uh, two uh, WWE Championship matches he had with uh, in that triple threat match, and of course the one he had with Miz. As well, it's not been, it's not been more since you know, And I think, like you said, like we all said, I think he's gone. On. I do think he's. Gone I think on. that was those those little matches that he had for the WWE title. That was just to see whatever fucking stuck. And then they found out that our true shit was working, so they just stuck with him. Honestly, yeah. They, they so tonight, our Divas champion Kelly Kelly team with Torres and defeat Natalia and Beth Phoenix. And we move on from that match because we don't really care. Hugh Jackman's there tonight. No. Real Steel. <laughs> you just give a shit about Real Steel because no. I couldn't give two fucks. Look, it might be a good movie, uh, but no. whenever they kind of promote this shit, I always hate when do that because I'm like it gets me a, like a bad taste in my mouth whenever they promote movies and shit on a uh, Raw because it's like God damn it, leave that shit somewhere else or just do like a little quick thing. I, I, we didn't need to see him in the middle of the show and then pop up later in the end of the show I'm like, eh, or towards the end. It was, it's whatever. He I think they're saying do that much, but whatever. the budget for this movie is not cheap thing. It's around $100 million. So there's, there's money being pumped into this thing, but to me it looks generic as anything. Are WWE fans going to see it? Probably. Because WWE hey, fans, especially the, yeah, those little well, kids will watch any piece those, of garbage. Those kids will watch Speaking it. of generic... Speaking of generic, how generic was this fucking entrance music when he walked out? Oh, no. yes, it, well, that's was, the, it was your good old celebrity music. It's like, it's 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 as close as the music <laughs> that they gave to Seth Green. Like, it's just generic as anything. <laughs> yeah, bullshit. 
it's like we don't have any. It's like okay, we don't have anything for you, so we're just gonna. I'm, I've been like, bro, fuck it. Just tell, just, have just have these, fucking. just have these guys in here. Just have legit have these guys in here, and then fucking just like have them look at the fucking SVR game soundtrack and just be like, pick one, just pick a song, fuck it. Because I mean, they might as well give them shots, it. man. Yeah, no, fuck it. Shots. Think about it. yeah fucking give them shots. Yeah, fucking give them shots. Boom, boom, da They put no work and effort really into that theme, man. Fucking Jim Johnson no, can be a lazy fucker sometimes, man. Mm-hmm. So, Vicky came came on to him in a way, and he didn't really know who she. Quick question: You guys think he gives a fuck about wrestling? No. Who? Well, he, All right, we, he well, uh, Hugh Jackman. He said that he's always wanted to be in a wrestling ring, but that's neither here nor there. When, when tonight or beforehand? Because it was beforehand, okay. But if it was tonight. Michael Cole bullshit. said it. <laughs> anyway, so we move on. Michael Cole. Michael Cole said it. Well, Michael Cole's the same guy that says "Vintage Miz," so I don't want to hear it. I highly doubt fucking. I, I highly doubt Wolverine had fucking pipe dreams of fucking becoming a WWE superstar one day. Get get the fuck out of here. Cole. He cracked Ziggler tonight pretty well. That was a good punch. He did a better work punch than most wrestlers. I'm not a fan of it. <laughs> he did, didn't he? I'm not he? a fan of it. <laughs> he did. I'm not, really a fa- I'm not really a fan of celebrities being up wrestlers, Me, but it's always happening. I'm, so. I'm not either. I don't really, I'm not really happy with that The worst either. was Snoop Dogg, man, when he just completely punch. buried Chavo. Yeah. Remember yeah. that? Snoop Dogg, Chava was already Snoop getting Dogg's buried skinny enough, ass Snoop is Dogg's supposed to, to yeah, he's getting buried and gets buried more by Snoop Dogg. I'm like, yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm not a fan of it either, especially if it's your, especially if it's your United States champion. Riders pushing for it. They don't give a fuck about Ryder, that shit. Riders pushing for it. I think Ryder, Ryder, if they have a match at Hell in a Cell, Ryder will probably win it or something. No good did they ask too much US for them title. tonight or no? I don't know. They? They, no. Didn't, they didn't, but I'm just saying if they do, then Ryder would either win it or I'm, I, it's either now or later. I feel like they're going to get Ryder something just, to hang around. Just just give the belt to Joma. They will. Just just give the I, belt to Joma. That's, that's all I'm saying. I ain't got to do that. That's if he wants Jomo's it. Joma's got one foot out the door. That's it, yeah. Uh, like, Joma's probably got fucking one foot out the door. <sighs> Ziggler for me doesn't really do much with the title at the moment. Then again, it's hey, with the Vicky Guerrero no. stable, so it's all right. Jack Swagger's in there. Jack, what's it's up? a nice little free man yeah. unit. Do I do I think Jack's going to beat? Maybe Jack will fuck over Ziggler for the belt. But then again, Ryder has a lot of momentum. He it's has a that show on YouTube, which is really guy, good. Isn't it? Who? Jack. It is, man, it's but I well, st- Jack's right over. It is what it is. Well, I mean, I've goes. seen. Well, I've seen stuff too that Jack Swagger was never supposed to be in the position that he was in last year. When I kind of have tend to agree, I believe that was supposed to go to Drew McIntyre. Drew- but since McIntyre had some bullshit with fucking Taron Terrell, well, Drew McIntyre oh. fucking sucked. So they got somebody else that they kind of wanted to push, and he didn't do well if either. Anything, right- <laughs> So, if anything, right? Oh. If we had to do that, Russell, if we had to do the Money in the Bank Lyle match at twenty, uh, WrestleMania twenty six all over again, I would have just had Christian win. Nah, I'm Let's gonna see. be real. Like that. I, Morrison, I, Morrison should have run it, won it because Morrison yeah. had a brilliant time on SmackDown, was getting over. And that was the and that so was if you can if you can find someone, just give it to him. And that was my anger with that because I I remember that shit and we covered that shit too. I'm like, they had a quick match with the Big Show and with, with Show Miz. And truth in uh, Morrison, I'm like Morrison should have been in that fucking Money in the Bank match. He was the guy that should have been at least in that because he was over as anything at that time. Yeah, they, they, out of those they, tech they guys, they would even give them tag team belts in four minutes. He got knocked out in four minutes. So yeah, I mean Joe Mo from the latter parts of his career hasn't been giving that much of anything. Um, but the beginning was that just sucks. the beginning was him as Nitro and shit, but now. He's one step out of the door. He's probably done. And if he does have a choice, I'd, I'd say leave. You could do something else somewhere else. I think TNA we can both goal. say, oh, God, TNA. No, TNA's yeah, been all right this so. year. I, I've enjoyed TNA this year, but I don't know where he would he would fit in currently. Maybe it's, I'd say champion, actually. He'd, he'd probably be the champion. Who's the champion currently? Is it James Storm? It can't be. Is it James? Uh, Bob. Uh... Oh man, 
man. You know I've what? I've been out the past couple of months, man. Just, I'll, I'll look, I I'll look it up. I'll look it up. Y'all keep talking. I'll look it up. Main event tonight, Cena Punk, Awesome Truth. Uh, awesome Truth are pretty good so far. I like their conspiracy theory act. They really are. They're another, they're another pawn in the game of Laurinaitis. If it is Laurinaitis behind this, they had a brilliant element. They got they they got some good momentum. They got some good momentum. We all knew though when Punk and Cena were teaming up, they weren't winning though. If they did win, <laughs> ridiculous. But I mean, this was we... a, a. I mean, this was a standard one in the mill tag match. Oh, uh, can I say something? Can I say something about Cena too? How slow do you have to fucking be to be? That just looks so fucking bad. I'm trying to fucking slow tag to fucking punk and oh my god, it just looked bad. It looked like somebody missed a spot there. But yeah, like I said, this was your standard one of the middle tag match. And you know what though? I think I think the ending is going to be remembered a lot more than anything else. Before you get into that, did you hear the big news from WWE tonight? The Did You Know segment? The C Nation has hit. 8.6 million fans on Facebook. Ooh, That's wee. more than The Rock, Tiger Woods, oh. Lopez, Dwight Wade, Kim Kardashian, Tony Hawk, Sarah Palin, Dalai Dal- Lama, or Delhi Lama, or the Lama Man. You can't forget the Johnny Dalai Depp. Lama. Holy shit. Who the fuck cares? I think we discussed this before, right? Well, like, yo, they the did. Dal- I seen the this. Dalai whenever Lama. they do that shit, they do it every. I mean, they do it all the time. They got, yo, they, they got always used, one here. They always use the Dalai Lama. I don't know why. You want to get a peep of them? It's way. Like, the has, Dalai Lama, heat. I'm sure, doesn't have fucking. Yeah, Man, the Dalai Lama. Tyler. They have heat with them. Clearly. He uh, didn't attend a SummerSlam. Oh, they had. It's been all the way down from there. Great. Whatever. Did you hear the other one tonight? WWE programming airs in 145 countries in 30 different languages each week. Who gives a fuck? Plus, I'm sure you fuckers have told us this about 4 million times. All the time. We get they it. Have. You they air have. They everywhere. On the top of the fucking programs. <laughs> yeah, you hear about... I'm sure you guys have heard about Sky Sports more than fucking the USA Network or Sci-Fi, man. I honestly don't give two shits. But uh, I want to tell you who's the current TNA champion. I'm sure you guys in the chat already said it, but I don't give a fuck. Uh, our, favorite, our favorite local druggie, Kurt Angle, is uh, the current TNA oh, champion. Oh, I disagree. Ah. Kurt Angle is still brilliant, man. Oh, no, no. I didn't say he wasn't good. I just said he's a drug addict. But let's, that's neither here nor there. Come on. I, I completely disagree about slandering him. How do you disagree? I'm not terrible. slandering him. That's the truth. He's been arrested multiple times. How, can, how is that slander? He's been framed. <laughs> he's been framed. All right. But getting, back to, uh, but getting back to the ending of this show, I was a big fan of this ending. Oh, yeah. Uh, I really was. Were you really? I oh, yeah. Seen in... Punk winning? Oh yeah, I was I was so happy, man. No, 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 I was, no, no, no. I'm not, I was cool. talking about when, the end of the when, match. When the baby face win, the it's, it, it it oh, gives me a wicked. glow inside. <laughs> oh, wicked! Cena won. <laughs> I'm not talking about the end of the match. Oh, by the way, too. Actually, by the way, before we get to the end of the show, I forgot to mention. We forgot to mention Mark Henry. Oh, coming out. Good point. Fuck, that would have been really. Annoying you know what? But you that. know what? Honestly, I want to leave that to the end because we were already talking about the Cena shit. So let's leave Mark Henry to the end, because that was probably yeah, the best part of the that. show, honestly. Um, I, 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 so to everyone, breaking news: Miz and Miz and our truth have been fired. Wink, wink. Ooh, nudge, spooky. nudge. Spooky. To be fair, that, that was, was out of nowhere. Yeah, that, that was, was a hot nowhere. ending. That was a hot fucking ending, though. And that I left was, me wanting to tune in next week. And I was very, Scrap. and I was, I was enjoyable about the fact that they understood that they were fired. So they were like, you know what? Let's go try to beat this nigga up. That's the All best I'm gonna part say, of They're going to be rehired or come back hell in a cell or the night after. Cause it's only two. They only have to be no, on TV gonna, for yeah, a yeah, week. Yeah, you know what just, they're going to try yeah, they, All they got to do is miss TV for a week. They probably get a payday still, you know. Something like they're not that. missing for the next two or three or four weeks here to yeah. the next pay per view. They're missing it for. We understand two. what they do with firing angles. CM Punk didn't even leave for more longer than two weeks. So what's he's going not to happen run. with? Here's what I think is going to happen here. The God, I think Awesome Truth is going to come out during the uh, main event of Hell in a Cell, which you know is going to be the triple threat match, 
And they're going to try and stir up some chaos. They're going to try and stir up some chaos as much as possible. It's either that or afterwards. That match. It's either that or afterwards. Oh, I, oh, I'm sure it's going to be afterwards. I think it's going to be afterwards. Mm. Do you think... Time? Do you guys think in the end these two will be the ones that... Like it'd be really nice if they did. These were the these two found out who the one, who is the person behind all of this. Not CM Punk, not John Laurinaitis, not Triple H. These two find out the culprit. Oh, if they it find was, out who the corporate is, that'll be that'll be very interesting. The people that everybody hates that'd finds be... out who's involved with the conspiracy. That's that. That's, that's yeah. Very, that's very good. And then, and then they maybe they turn face in a way, or like we told you so. We always said we were gonna find it. Well, you know how it is. Sometimes, That'd be interesting, sometimes they do the whole you told you so, and then they're like, oh, boo, stop talking. I don't want to hear you say you're right again. You know that type of thing. Unfortunately, and unfortunately too, WWE I don't think is is gonna want to go for that. They like the baby face finding John, you out know who's what? doing the bad they, doings. You know, that's fucking that's John, John Cena will figure it out, man. Yeah, that's usually how it is. John Cena will figure it out. You John know. Cena and the mystery gang, fucking of CM Punk, Scrappy, yeah. fucking Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Find out. <laughs> Hugh Jackman, <laughs> Zack Ryder. Any of our baby faces, uh, fucking Air Boom. Yeah, they'll be the ones to find out who it is. Probably Vince. Probably, probably fucking It Vince. is Vince. I, I hope not. I really fucking hope Eli not. Cottonwood backstage and all those guys are just gonna end up finding Jacob Novak. Yeah, all those guys are gonna Jake find out what's Novak. going on. The anonymous rule GM. Teddy uh, Teddy Long's gonna come out and say, "Remove that match." Maybe because, it's Teddy Long. It, uh, it, it could maybe, be Teddy. Maybe it's Teddy Long. He's, do, he's doing his he, he's doing his bit on he, SmackDown. <laughs> he always wanted to be on Raw, so he wanted to crush Raw, so they'd have to have a super show, oh, not because of the ratings shit. or anything. Or the depleted rosters. The black man caused well, a conspiracy. Spe- conspiracy. Well, speaking of Teddy Long, we kind of like didn't see Teddy Long, but we. But he came out. He, he came out. He, he did his little jig and made sure. He had his little dance. Yeah, he, he made sure I was we heard his entrance. Here, they're, they're bastards, man. They didn't even show this dude. They just like, oh, he's leaving, and then Jim Ross, Mark Henry comes Edge. out. Like tonight had to be like the worst announcement for Hell in a Cell matches, but forget that. Um, Mark Henry comes out looking like a fucking beast as he's been looking like for the past three to four months. Uh, I'm liking this shit, and I like how he's you know doing a lot of shit that we have heard from the past of Jim Ross not necessarily liking him and wanting him to be released, and he's using that storyline wise. The what chance Mark Henry got tonight were a fucking hundred decibel. They were wanting the fuck clean out of him, yeah. man. But he kept... I was hoping he was going to mention it, but he asked for he an kept, apology. He kept going. He asked for an apology by Jim. Jim apologized. Crowd got annoyed. And they started choking Jim. And we were like, well, time for Jim to get his ass beat again. <laughs> Jerry runs in, because we all know Jerry can't just fucking sit there. Jerry Lola runs in, tells him, it's enough. You've waited 15 years. Don't don't ruin what you've just accomplished. Which was really nice. Then he, fro- he froze down Jim, and he says, well, you're going to pay for instead. Fucking You're gonna Jerry take hits his a place. Times. He just looks at him like, "All right, and I get it." Mark Henry kills this man, and we were all and delighted then, uh, to see it. Josh Matthew yeah. runs out there afterwards, and that was it for the night for Jerry and Jim. Which yeah, I like how he Jerry probably won't be on TV. Well, for let's like also at least not two forget too. Let's also, let's also not forget the famous last words from Jr. Stop, please. You're holding me. You're hurting me. You're hurting, You're hurting me. <laughs> he must have repeated You're that about five me. different times. <laughs> Could you splice that into tonight's episode or something? Most likely. I can I can splice that. You're, in You're hurting. You'll have to get the rerun or something from YouTube. Yeah, I'll, I'll get it somewhere. Otherwise, tonight's show overall for me was fucking brilliant. Okay. Another good roar, and now we're heading to SmackDown to see where this continues with Mark and everybody else. Yes, fantastic shit with Mark Henry, and I hope he keeps that shit for a long goddamn time. And also, let's not forget, too, Sin Cara versus Sin Cara. Oh, anyway, Christ. so, Tyler, before you go, shout out your show quickly, so we can wrap this up, because I don't want to talk about Sin Cara. Alright, alright. Uh, check out the Trademark Show every Sunday at... Whatever time it is, because I record the shit. So, uh, yeah. There it is, right there. On all your favorite podcasting platforms. Okay, see you guys. Alright, see ya. So, Sin Car came out. There's a duplicate Sin Car. <laughs> Nobody cares. End of the episode. Thank you very much. Media use.